Yeah, all right, cool. So we got a world map now. So this is the world map. Um, the view, the basic view looks about the same, but the map itself looks different. Um, and then this is us. This is up here at Oleg's Trading Post. Uh, and we can, uh, we can choose which path we're going to go on. So the, the way this works is you don't just click randomly and move. You have to follow specific paths. So like, uh, can I zoom? No, no, this is what we get. Uh, it's a big map. It's a very big map. <laughs> so we're going to follow the road this way. Now you can see I have one, two, three, I have four options. Now, if I'm trying to get to Thorn Ford, um, I kind of want to guess at where I'm going, but we can just randomly explore, right? I can just go out this way. Uh-oh, random encounter on the road. Get ready. Oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Who's this fucking guy? Ramus. A jittery old, uh-oh, oh no, Ramus. A jittery old man in squalid clothing shuffles up to you. His gray hair is unkempt, and he continually clenches and unclenches his wrinkled, freckled hands. When he stops and looks at you, his eyes widen, and he tugs at his beard. Strange weather! Invisible fog creeping out of the woods. Soars beyond the sky, obscures the sun and moon. Strange. The old man shakes his head, his eyes shifting about seemingly at random. I don't like this old man. Welcome to the mouth squad. Hey, Falka. I don't like this old man. Looks like the kind who can cast the evil eye. Who are you? The old man freezes for a moment. Ramus? But that won't help with the fog. What are you doing here? I do nothing. Breathe, walk, observe. The fog looks visible enough to me. I see more than ever, but I've never seen so much before. The old man wipes his hand across his face and sighs wearily. But someone must look, and no one else can. Hey, what are you, are you drunk? Can you find your way through the fog? The fog is wrong. It hinders your legs, not your sight. I wish not to try. Uh, I don't have time to listen to old falls nonsense. Be gone! Bold dog barks loud. While cunning one readies to bite. Cunning, short, but stubborn. He's now in an ancient tomb that lies south of the trading post. Search for the great power that once gave joy and now brings only death. You don't want my nonsense? Then you'll hear sobs and screams. Your own ones. <laughs> okay, okay, that's great. Thank you for that very random encounter. He seems nice. <laughs> All right, so we, we beat that random encounter. Now we're just kind of checking out the outskirts here. Fangberry Cave. Ooh, I love Fangberries. Let's go check it out. Wait, I don't know how to get there. There it is. Fangberry Cave. Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to explore this map. Let's go check out the cave. <laughs> the fangberries taste like fangberries. <laughs> Look at the lovely flowers. <laughs> Young deer. That's not what a deer <laughs> looks like. <laughs> These are some fucked up deer, I got to say. All right, found some random, a pocket mirror, a potion of light, cure light wounds, an onion. Ooh, can I wear the onion on my belt? Oh, I can't put the onion on my belt, as was the fashion of the time. All right. All right, that's fine. Horse deer. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was just NPCs. I see. Oh, they're deer that were polymorphed into. Okay. Monitor lizards. Cool. Let's fight them. Charge that shit. God, I love you, Amiri. Fucking, you're so ham. Get him. 
Get those filthy lizards. We did it. We killed the filthy lizards. Okay. What do they got? Lizard meat? Cool. Got it. And then hidden under a rock, some miscellaneous objects. Now, there's a ca it's supposed to be a cave around here somewhere, right? There's the cave. Wicked. Uh, let's make camp outside the cave, and then I can show you what the camp thing looks like, and we'll see if there's anything new. So you literally, like, make a camp, and then everybody goes to sit down at the camp. Huh? Come on, Miri. Go join the camp. Everybody camp it out. What you want? Uh, camp? Are you broken, or do the, do the camping? Here I am. See? Camp. <laughs> uh, all right. Normally, here, let's try another one. Let's do it over here. Normally, you make the camp, and then you click on it, and then there it is. Okay, so here's how it works. So we have jobs. Uh, we have a watch order, right? People guard the camp. Uh, we have a cook who uses knowledge world and a recipe we choose. Um, we can heal. Someone camouflages the camp. Uh, and someone else goes hunting with nature. So it's kind of like like a familiar, if you've played a certain award-winning tabletop role-playing game, it might seem like something that you've heard of before. And then they talk, right? and they hang out. Oh, you studied writing for such a long time, put so much effort into your art, and then they threw you out of the academy. But in spite of all this, you didn't give up. Why? <laughs> yeah, Darkest Dungeon. Exactly, Umbra. You got it. <laughs> because if I did, it'd mean they got what they wanted. Or, no, because it would be so boring not to write. Truth be told, I didn't think about it back then. Needs more Grutus. That's right. All right, so we foraged food, we camouflaged the camp, and we got a hearty meal, which means everybody's going to have a buff uh, for the next day. See, so check it out. Hearty meal, 15 hours, plus one bonus on all saves. It's great. Cool, so we aced that thing. Let's go into this cave and explore. Welcome to the math squad. Sidnish, thank you. Welcome to the squad. Happy to have you. All right, wait, hold on. So we're in a camp. Let's here. Let's let's cast light. <gasps> fucking giant spider! I see your ass. I fucking see you, you spider ass motherfucker. All right, let's let's start this thing up right because we got we got. I see him. So. They go down. All right, uh, we'll start with a sneak attack, and then we'll... Oh boy, there's a bunch of them too. Damn. Oh my god, I love her, her attack. All right, let's see if I can catch these guys. Oh, more coming from behind. Shit, okay, so we got some more. I think we have that saving throw bonus. Nice. That the cast a spell and and uh, and then do the attack thing is great. All right, Lindsay, get in here and help. Did we kill them all? We did it. That went great. We did good, everybody. Nice work. Good job, team. Okay, we collected giant spider legs. Delicious. We got a potion of some kind. But a uh, anti potion of mage armor. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. That that'll be helpful. All right. 
So far, we're doing we're doing all the best shit. Ooh, fangberries. How do they grow in here? Oh, Miri. Oh my God. Why does she keep getting hurt? I guess picking fang. There you go. Picking fangberries is really dangerous. Small red berries resembling a raspberry. Got it. Right, the ba yeah, the berries. Oh, there, it's literally just a little cave with... Interesting, so someone someone later is gonna ask me for them. Um, so yes, you can choose you can choose which meal to make, but right now I only have the like hearty meal. Um, it looks like there's only like specific exits that you can use to leave an area for right now. So let's head to Did I miss did I miss the treasure? What? There's treasure in there. What? You kidding me? How did I miss that? Let's get back in there. Yeah, later on you can learn haggis and rice pudding. <laughs> Oh, I also missed a gathering egg spider. Okay, here, I'm holding tab now. Nope, there's nothing else to gather in here. There was no treasure chest. Yep, see, I didn't miss anything. We're good. Uh, blue chest on the map? No. It was the spider. Yeah, that's right, it wasn't an actual chest. Can I dispel this? Light spell? No? Alright. It's cool. I just have a glowing orb over my head forever. Boop. Okay, cool. So we found a little area, killed all the spiders, got a fang, got a fangberry for what inevitably will be a quest later. Let's do some more exploring. Oh no! A random encounter! Oh, fuck, banditos. All right, banditos. Time to get wrecked on. Rip them all! I like how she charges up her run first. That's so good. All right, now charge that guy. Charge is great. Yes! Hack that dude to pieces! That's what you get, bandits? Stop fucking attacking me, you dumbasses. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? I guess throwing it in the garbage is what you're doing. Uh, Alright, we're, we're gonna need to get back to the map and rest again, because Amiri's just rough. She's pretty rough. Here, we're gonna begin resting. Poor midriff. Ooh, no, ah, oh boy, this is a bad camp. We suck. Okay, well, good thing nothing tried to ambush us. Oh no, another random encounter. Damn. Okay, all right. Well, this is good, I like these encounters because they're easy and these guys are stupid. Inspire everybody, go! Yeah, kill that bard. Yeah. Fuck that guy up. Oh no! Down I go. Alright, um. Oh, nope. There we go. They killed me. They they auto killed me. Okay. 13 Rova. This one. Looks like my save. Yeah, I got wrecked. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna hang hang back and let them rush in. There we go. Hey, let's try to let's see if we can use color spray. Nice. Oh, 
poor, poor girl. God, that guy hits hard. This is a rough encounter. Okay, here, let's, let's try this again. Jesus. Okay, please this time for fuck's sake. The color spray didn't really last long enough to, like, help. Okay, alright, that's one down. It's the big guy. Um... I run? This was the thing that was a problem before, like there was no way to get out of a, an encounter. Like I'll get here and it won't let me, yeah it won't let me escape. Okay. Let's try this again. So, activate your cool spell thing. And then, I don't know, let's just try to, like, focus fire this guy, I guess. Maybe preload the heal. Okay, there we go, that's good. I just took two two debuffs that I don't know what they do. Uh, Jesus Lord. Okay, I think this we're doing better this time. Here, let's um, drink a potion. Okay, those potions are great because they're so fast to drink them. I like it. I like that we're playing on a harder challenge level. It's uh it's it's working. <laughs> Kill that fucking guy. Cleric's down, so that's not God damn it, that bard healed. Okay, here we go. Yes, eat shit. Oh my god, he healed. For fuck's sake. Oh my god, we did it. Oh boy, that was rough. Cool, and uh, he didn't take a critical hit or whatever, so he's fine. Uh, let's see what loot they have. A long spear and a chain shirt. Hide armor and a great sword. That explains why that guy was chopping me up. All right, cool. That was fun. Um, all right, so let's let's see what kind of uh, let's see if there's any upgrades for this gear. Uh, Emiri's hide armor. 
AC is 14 if you have a chain shirt. Her AC stays 14, so she's, she's fine. She's already got a chain shirt. Dude's already got chain mail. This is scale mail, which is less good. Maybe it could be better for her. Nope, she can't wear it. And I'm already kitted out with the best. I'm already kitted out with the best shit I can wear, I think. Um, chain shirt, is this medium? Why does it not tell me? Uh, all right, so my AC, you can't see it because it's behind me, 16, so it goes up to 17. Um, but does my spell failure occur? Does that happen? Arcanes. Because it doesn't say if a chain shirt is medium or light armor, because that's what I need, right, for my... Uh, where is it? My, like, Magus armor proficiency, light armor. I don't think a chain shirt is light armor. I, like, I right-clicked it, but if you look at it, it doesn't say the type of armor. A oh, chain shirt is light. Where am I, where am I missing that? Right, I wouldn't be able to equip it at all. That's fair. That's fair. It is in 3E and Pathfinder. Okay, perfect. Good. Then I'm good. Chain shirt. Um, anybody got any use for a long spear? Not really, huh? No. Okay. <laughs> I just remember from actual Pathfinder. Yeah, that's that's useful. Thank you. Um, good. Okay, well, that's nice. We got a boost to our armor class. Let's rest in this random encounter. And we need to hunt rations because if I don't, if I don't get them. You have returned. Hey, look, your notification worked. <laughs> Thanks, Cypher. So this is what we got. Today, Amir killed 10 trolls, 10 kobolds, a troll, a hodag, and more goblins than fingers on two hands can count. You know, I don't think the reader will believe us here. <laughs> but that's the truth. I could down them all easily. If only we'd find them. Yes! All right, we foraged some rations. Camouflage was successful. We didn't cook anything, which is a shame. But moving on. Okay, so we can go down towards the ancient tomb and Thorn Ford. Let's start that. Let's go to the ancient tomb first. Uh-oh. You've spotted the enemies. You've successfully evaded the enemies. Oh, that's neat. So we haven't found that before. So look. Evade. Ah, cool. I've never had that come up. That's very cool. Also, do you notice that uh, she's got this strength damage that's like permanent until we get her back to Oleg's? It's not a big deal because she's a bard, but interesting to, to note. Um, Plum, I don't, I don't like Pathfinder as a tabletop role-playing game because it's, it's way more complicated than I like. Like, 5e is about as complicated as I want Dungeons & Dragons to ever be. So that's all. It's not that it's a bad game. I think it's actually a very well-designed game. I think the people who design it know exactly what they're doing. Um, it's just not for me. That's all. Um, I got some scrolls. I got a scroll of Summon Monster, which is neat. So let's give it to her. And I also got a scroll of protection from chaos, which might come in handy. Can I get a scroll of protection from fangberries? Uh, the debuff is on. Oh, that's right. The debuff is to the right, and hers is exhaustion. Hers is because. Huh? What you want? Uh, because she. Oh, what the hell? Why is her strength? Oh no. Okay, that's a whole other thing. We gotta get out of here. Her strength is only thirteen right now. We gotta leave. I gotta get her back to Oleg's and heal her. Yeah, thanks to because and, and Freckled, I didn't notice that. I thought it was the person to the left, but that makes more sense. You have returned. Cole Sarisk. Welcome back. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, I think it's because she got bit by the spider. Might have been why that fight was so hard. All right, I think Bakken is the guy that I go to for healing. 
Hi, Bakken. Uh, ooh, fang berries. I found some berries in a cave. Perhaps you can find a use for them? Damn it all, these are the right berries, but they've soured. Gather some fresh ones for an old man. Oh man. Damn it. All right, remind me what you do here. Or does it auto heal? Um, I guess we'll find out. So I gotta go straight back from, straight back from the berries to town if I wanna cash in that quest. I want to leave. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, and that's that's why I'm interested in uh, in Pathfinder um, as a as a thing because uh, as a computer RPG because I think that it it can take away some of the over complexity. All I have to do is click. Can you let me rest here? Do I rest upstairs? Go to sleep. There we go. Grab the berries on the way back. That's a good call, rather than run out there now. But then I get three potions. I got lots of potions. I won't lie though, the game is succeeding at, if it's, if it's goal, if it's goal is to, or one of its goals, is to get people interested in Pathfinder as a game, uh, I've definitely, like, playing it, I've definitely thought more about Pathfinder um, than I had before. I don't think I'm going to, like, suddenly become a big fan or anything, but I definitely will, like, dig out my books and give it another look. Yeah, that's a good point. I should sell all this shit. Also, shift-click is how you... I don't need torches because I have the light spell. Bam! So much money. Now I wonder, I wonder if I wonder if there's any master other masterwork stuff worth buying. Probably not. Alright. We're good. Um, peppers, no. No, it is not. Okay. So this is where the the berries are. I could go down here and come back, but let's go let's go down to the ancient tomb. Ew, the moist basin. Ugh. I don't want to go to the moist basin. That's gross. But I will go to this ancient tomb. Yeah, Fat and Forty, that's that's the that's the jam I'm getting off this thing too. Wait, why is she still injured? What you want? We rested! I, I rested at Oleg's. What is happening? Oh god. I'm so confused. How do I get rid of that poison mm -hmm. damage? Or that strength damage? Because it doesn't show me the source. It just says she's damaged, right? Like it doesn't... Ability damage minus four. Well, it went up one point. Yeah, it, it healed a little bit. Maybe it's a full day. So do, do I just have to click the bed four times? All right, back we go. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't have a restoration spell, so. It makes sense, yep. Uh, it's annoying, but. Yeah, one per day, got it. So I'll just rest over and over and over. We'll just stay here for four days. This is the point where if we had another fighter, we'd swap them out. Yeah, that's a good call, actually. Is 
Sleep. Wake up. Sleep. Wake up. How's she doing? There we go. All right, two more. Sleep. You feeling better now, honey? Yeah, there's your 18 strength. All right. Yeah, I feel like they could just add a sleep for four days, like, mechanism, right? Like, how long would you like to rest at Oleg's? Because there's, there's really no, there's no risk, right? Like, if this were, if this were Pathfinder tabletop, uh, the GM would just be like, okay, how long do you want to rest? The players would be like, well, I need to rest for five days. And then if the GM is, if the GM is using something like fronts to manage their game, that would be the, the drawback of wasting like five days sleeping. Cause yeah, the stag Lord might attack a village somewhere or whatever, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that's, that's the kind of feedback. I hope that the devs come back and like watch these, watch these streams. I actually asked them, um, if there's anyone that, you know, wanted to like tune in and hang out maybe answer your questions. Um, but most of the devs are in Russia, so. They, uh, the, the time overlap is very different. <laughs> a bright purple spot attracts your attention. Of course, it's Tartuccio, your rest of acquaintance and rival. The gnome is standing on a small elevation, expressing his discontent in every way. Let me guess, you're still dawdling? Tartuccio looks at his underlings, unimpressed. Should I make some tea in the meantime? Pick a pie! Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? You should be wearing fool's caps and colored trousers. Then I will be at least able to sell tickets to the slowest and most ridiculous buffoons in Galarian. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, I know you! Sir Tartuccio, I am your servant, not your slave. We do what we can, but it is not so simple to find an unknown object in a huge dungeon. Jathal stares Tartuccio down. Hold your tongue, gnome. I can hardly distinguish your twaddle from a fly's buzzing. Why are you looking at a man's twaddle? Earnestly now, if we don't find the artifact quickly, somebody else can seize it. Mwah! Somebody who is standing over there watching you fools now! Tartuccio finishes acidly turning to you. He nods to his guards to draw their weapons. Valerie! It seems to me your valiance and your sword deserve more glorious deeds than serving Tartuccio. He summoned you to fight the Stag Lord's bandits and now uses you for his questionable dealings. Or, Jathal, I think that Tartuccio's arrogance has long gone beyond the limit. I would find better use for such a companion as you. Um, no, I like, I like the not quite paladin. Let's, let's get her. <gasps> You're right. Tartuccio deceived us. A warrior who bows to a lie humiliates herself, and I am no longer inclined to tolerate this. I see that my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing servants from the enemy. Are your fools even more useless than mine? We shall now see. Get your swords and cover my withdrawal. Someone. Yeah! Fucking sweet Valerie. Mighty fighter Valerie. So it's interesting. She's a fighter. Um... She's like a failed paladin, basically. I'm gonna level her up as a as a fighter. Um, oh my god, why is her mobility minus 15? Armor, I guess. Armor check penalty. Yep. Giant tower shield. Yeah, she's cool. She's jo Joan of Arc. All right, what's a good combat feat for her? Uh, because she she's like a sword and board fighter, big heavy armor. What should we what should we give her? Power attack. Some kind of armor focus. Basically, she has access to all the weapon foci. Yeah, I don't know what kind of armor she's currently wearing, though. Um, shield bash? That's a cool idea. Um... 
Whenever you and an ally who also has this feed are flanking the same creature. Oh, okay. Shield focus is safe. You may attack weapons with light and heavy shields. This includes standard penalties for two weapon fighting. Um, I'm gonna give her shield focus. Oh, but shield wall and adjacent to an ally wielding a shield. Ah, that's pretty good too. Hmm. What is defensive combat training? Oh, it, it gives her the ability to fight defensively. I think I'm gonna give her, I think I'm gonna give a uh, shield, uh, shield focus. Like it's not huge, but we'll kind of just like focus on making her a shield, a shield fighter. So I'll do shield wall later too, but. All right, so let's look at her inventory. Yeah, see, this is why we made her a shield focus uh, because that. All right, girl. Uh, let's let's do this thing. Let's kill these mercenaries. Well, let's recruit these mercenaries. Uh, who can she charge? Do I have a bane or a buff or whatever? No, I don't. All right, here we go. Yeah, I can't, I can't focus the gnome because the gnome uh, isn't, is not an option. There we go. Okay. Uh, drink a potion. Oh shit, shit, I don't need potions. Okay. Barbarian went down. I can't. I can't bring her back up during this fight, unfortunately. Shit. Oh, we might not win this one. Cause this guy's got too little. His his AC is super high, so I've been having a rough time hitting him. No. All right. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna have to load this. Yeah. This fight's over. Can I have my loading screen? So yada yada yada, Valerie. It sucks that I have to level her up again, but we know what we're doing this time, so this should be quick. And we decided to give her a shield focus. Okay. So I kind of need to get Valerie like in the fight. So if we're all gonna focus this dude, but this is. This guy's like a wizard, right? So maybe she should fight him. There's too much to do. Yeah, let's go try to focus that wizard down. Here we go. God damn it. I just got dropped. Shit. God, being first level sucks. Where's that touch of chaos spell that I had here in this thing? This won't kill me. I think I need to equip her with a potion of, uh, Potion of healing. Also, Valerie's down too. Fuck! You're right, I'm second level. Maybe I need to level up a bit more first. Maybe I shouldn't be coming here yet. 
Maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll come back. <laughs> um, I'll do I'll do it one more try. But here, let me let me switch around. Let's see, do I have any extra healing potions? No, I sure don't. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll need to just we'll come back. Let's go do another quest. <laughs> um, I also I could also go and do the berries. Yeah, exactly, and that should get me some more experience. No, Amiri doesn't use a shield. She's a big two-hander. But I could cast Mage Armor on her first. She has that scroll. All right. Here we go. Enemy fight time. I hope it's more bandits. Ooh, kobolds. Two, two of them. Rip kobolds. <laughs> Stop it with your breath weapon. There we go. What? Oh, there's more. Jesus. Forget it. All right, everybody. We survived the kobolds. That's nice. Do they have anything good on them? Some gems we can sell. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, it's a like kobold. Uh, like they're alchemists, right? They throw, they throw things and do do that sort of stuff. Would the shield spell work on Amiri? I think it would. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's uh let's rest here before we carry on. I need to buy some more food too. It makes these little fight situations harder. Or uh, it makes the camp harder to su succeed at because it means the hunters have to do all the work. Hey, there we go. Well, I mean, at least we found enough rations to make food. Porkinia Bunsworth suddenly awoke inside the house. Dogs were howling fiercely not far away. It smelled like burning, the wooden walls were steaming hot, and smoke was wreathing below the, beneath the low ceiling. She looked out the window. The instant she approached the window, the glass broke, and an arrow hit her in the chest. Falling, she managed to notice a dozen dark figures standing outside. Her eyes dimmed. Porkinia Bunsworth felt cold on her skin. She heard the murmur of water and the soft dash of waves. After opening her eyes, she saw a rocky bottom and a bloated body tangled with green waterweed. The drowned man's gaze was fixed right at Porkinia Bunsworth. The drowned man's mouth opened slowly and a hoarse whisper said, Shrike River. At this moment, Porkinia Bunsworth finally awoke. Drenched in sweat, she told us what she saw in the dream. Ooh, a mysterious dream. Uh, no, we got all of them. We got all the loot. Unless there's like a additional kobold. Nope, we're good. Our illustrious champion yeah, returns. Rules. Welcome home. Hey, Lethalogica. Our illustrious champion returns. Yalbraid, welcome, welcome back. Thank you. And also... Hello, Gulia. To the math squad. Welcome to the squad. Thanks for subscribing. All right, more goddamn kobolds. Just rush them, Amiri. Just rush them and put them in the ground. Rip them all! Get him! Shocking grass, that little fucker. Nice. Now, there's some more hiding around here. There they are. These kobolds are mad because we killed those other kobolds. They go down. Oh, she missed. We suck. There we go. Kill them all? Any more over here? No? Alright. Gotta 
sling and some leather armor and a pearl. And we got some shitty armor for a kobold and some additional shitty kobold stuff. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to just trade in all my stuff at Oleg's, and then we're going to go get the berries, and we'll do that whole thing. Run that, run that quest. Hi, buddy. Show me what you got. And uh, I'm going to buy a few more rations if I can afford them. They're, like, weirdly expensive. Oh, no, he sells them outside, right? Show me your wares, Oleg. Oh, they, they made them less expensive. They're half the, half the price they used to be. All right. Uh, let's do... We'll take six of them. I know it's still a lot, but... Actually, does this guy sell any, um, any recipes? Do you sell recipes, Oleg? No, he does not. Okay. To Fangbury Cave. I wonder if there's uh, going to be more spiders in there. Oh! that encounter oh, Jesus okay oh no it's a bard oh good this one doesn't have the bandit the one that like really messed me up last time um, so let's charge the bard what I need is a, a caster like a long-range caster That that's the shit, right? Like that'll that'll be the thing that'll work great for this party. Like a more tanky fighter will be helpful too, because honestly, Amiri's like kind of DPS. Um, but yeah, someone with like magic missile and that sort of thing is gonna be real, real nice, real nice to have. Yeah, so Valerie will help, and then hopefully, like, a mage-type character. Maybe this guy. Maybe this, this orc. Though he looks like he's a magus, actually. Welcome to Dead Spider Cave, everybody. Make some more fangberries. Hey, first try that time, Amiri. Good work. Um, wait, why am I so fucked up? Oh, fatigued. Interesting. Okay. Um. All right, I got my fangberries. Let's get out of here. Does the game have multiplayer yet? No, 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 absolutely not. I don't know that it ever is uh, planning on having multiplayer. Uh, I get the impression that it's a very sort of traditionally oriented CRPG in that regard, which is good, which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm about that. It doesn't need anything fancy. But yeah, we'll definitely check it out when it comes out like full release. Um, at, le at the very least, to, to compare and contrast, right? That's the fun thing about playing games that are in alpha or, or like, really, really, like, early development. 
Okay, um, give fangberries. See, there you go. They're good this time. A potion of restoration and a po two potions of cure wounds. And he needs a bucket of moon radishes. Okay, all right. Who doesn't need a bucket of moon ration or uh, radishes? Okay, uh, before we set back out and, uh, and carry on, uh, let's take a short break here, and uh, when we get back, we'll, uh, we'll keep on questing. Uh, don't go anywhere. Lots more Pathfinder when we come back. 